Welcome and Merry Christmas from everyone at Burton Agnes Hall. Christmas is about a celebration of life and colour in the middle of the dark winter. At Burton Agnes Hall, we bring the house to life with inspiring creations. We hope that our visitors can take ideas back and make their own wonderful creations at home. So coming into the hall, we've got a wonderful Christmas tree which has been cut from the estate and we've decorated it with reds and golds, traditional Christmas colours and the tree is dripping in baubles. And this year we, we always have fun going around the gardens of our head gardener looking for different things we can bring into the house at Christmas time. Uh, we had an abundance of hops in our gardens and we've sprayed them up gold and put them down our central table um, as a colourful display. We've also got wreaths made from vines by the gardeners which are suspended in our arches and everything's been decorated with a, a golden and a bronzed feel. So in the inner hall you might spot nestled in the trees our head guide's Pauline's knitted owls. In the red drawing room we've used creative decorations of feathers cut from pearlized paper and painted with gold to reflect the colours in the panelling. In the Chinese room we've got bamboo from the gardens hanging in which are gold origami butterflies. In the garden gallery Father Christmas is using all sorts of modes of transport to deliver his presents. In the dining room, we've got a celebration of the game in the woods. We've got pheasants and deer and some gold robins. And if you look closely, you might find the three mice nestled in the Christmas puddings. Halfway up the stairs, we always enjoy decorating in the hall with our children and we get some fun decorations for them. This is one of the trees that they've made. In the upstairs drawing room, we've collected together many wonderful creations. We have white origami stars hanging in the trees. We've got spiralled uh, glittery cones on the tables and paper cut Christmas trees. These have all been made by friends and part of a team at Burton Agnes. In the king's bedroom, Jenny, one of our guides, has got very creative with some paperback book balls of flowers rather resembling hydrangea heads dangling from an oak tree. In the Justice's room, Jenny, one of our guides, has made wonderful paper snowflakes dangling in the tree. My mother-in-law Liz came up and helped us this year create a wonderful woodland scene in the Queen's bedroom. Nestled in amongst there are foxes, deer. We've also got a little nod to what comes after Christmas and the snowdrops are appearing. In the music gallery, we have a wonderful celebration of the creations of Yvonne, one of the tenants in the village. We have a paper cut village scene, we have crocheted baubles and decorations in the tree, and hand cut paper lanterns. House on the oak stairs, our old man is surrounded by some rather jolly mice. At the top of the oak stairs, we're celebrating Pauline our head guys knitting with a knit before Christmas scene. On into the long gallery, we have a frosty blue and silvered decorations in our tree and we're giving tinsel a go this year, which has had a bit of a revival recently. Each year, the school children of Bird and Agnes provided decorations in our library and this year, each class has taken up the theme of a different carol. I wonder if you can spot which ones they are. Finally, we come to Father Christmas, getting ready for his busy night and he's compiling his list of who's been naughty and nice. As you can see at Burden Agnes Hall, we've had a lot of fun decorating for Christmas. We hope you'll be inspired by the wonderful creations that so many of our team and friends and family have put together. From everyone at Burton Agnes, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>